So yeah, tonight we're gonna check out a bunch of demos from the next fest. I've gotten a few different ones, different genres, stuff that I found interesting, whether it was from like a, a gameplay perspective or just visually, right? So we got a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure I'm gonna get through all of them tonight. Maybe we'll do more over the weekend, but it should be fun. Uh, so, the first one we're going to check out is one that I've seen played by a couple of streamers that I follow, and I think it's an interesting one. It's another roguelike, and it's called Backpack Hero. So, let me launch it, and we'll see what it is. I think this one's going to be an interesting one. I, I thought the idea was pretty cool, so. Okay. These might have varying volumes, so please let me know if the volume's too loud, or whatever. Um, let's see if this recognizes... Game Capture, or if I have to swap to Window. Yeah, I think this is a Window Capture. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Window Capture, Backpack Hero, there we go. Alright! So, you'll see what this involves. What platform am I using? Oh, this is all PC, but I'm sure some of these will be coming to console. Okay. Um... Oh, you can pick a character. I can go a frog. So, what's the difference between them? Aims to store the dungeon. Okay. Magical carving spawn each turn she's in danger. Okay, let's just start with the basic character. Well, you can't see the selection. It's not updating, really. Okay, hang on. Sorry for the technical issues. Sometimes games have tricky capture. I think this works. Okay, let me just... For the sake of you being able to see everything. There we go. Okay, that is definitely working now. Alright, sorry about that. These are the characters, so... It looks like each of them have a distinct playstyle. So this one talks about magical carving spawn each turn she is in danger. And then this one... Um... Mishmash of metal and nerd stuff that will take care of any enemy automatically, so probably likes turrets. You bet Metroid Prime is more for feedback on the engine and gameplay. Yeah, potentially. I mean, don't look a gift horse in the mouse, but it's cool that they, uh, they made it that price. Okay, welcome to the dungeon. You must conquer the dungeon by delving deep to the center to discover the ancient cheeses hidden there. You are armed only with your magic backpack. You head into the dungeon, knowing very few make it back alive. Okay. Add all the items to your backpack to continue. While holding an item, you can press right mouse or arrow key to rotate it. Right, so... The combat system of this game is effectively an inventory manager, right? So, like, each item has a stat associated with it. So this one adds 7 block. This one deals 7 damage, right? And the idea is... You just stack stuff so it fits. Hang on. It says right-click to rotate. How does it work? But it's doing view card. Oh, while well, holding an item. I see. I see. Teddy, close it. Oh, done. There we go. Okay, I got it. There it is. Got it. So, yeah, you just arrange your backpack, right? Right? 
click me. Okay, the UI is not the most intuitive, but I thought the combat was fun. In combat, you can click items to use them. You must defeat all enemies to continue. Okay. Also, this music though, like, come on, this is like Chrono Trigger. This pop-up's not disappearing, but it's cool. And turn. Right, so that we can block. And then if we want, we can heal. So I have three energy, right? So for one energy, I can block. And then I can, for one energy per attack, I can go attack, attack. I think this is a bug. It's fine. It's This game is in early access, just so you know. It's not ready for release. So don't judge it too harshly. But I think... Conceptually... Um, yeah. The food gives energy. Uh, yes, but it has a limited number of uses. So when you level up, hey, look. You can pick four spaces to upgrade your backpack. So, I'll just go, yep, that, and maybe, like, one th here. So that's my new backpack now. Now we get items. Okay, so... You have Conductive, the root of all evil, that's just gold, right? We can carry that. So some of the stuff, for example, Conductive, what it'll do... It should add, like, an elemental. Like, some of these get bonuses. Okay, so this one says... Deal 7 damage, the above cleaver is used. So if there's a cleaver directly above this one, it'll automatically use it. Can be used one time each turn, adds 2 poison to the enemy. That sounds good. Iron helmet. Uh, the adjacent armor gets plus 1 block. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... We move this out, put this here. Hopefully adjacent is right next to it. Oh, if this is in the top row, the item gets negative two block. Oh, no. Then... What is this? This is... Adds one region. Conductive. One region... Yeah, I mean... I think for now, that'll- that'll do. It just said take two items, so... I took the coin, and I took the dagger. Okay. Oh yeah, put that there. Click the map. Alright. Okay. I think this needs to get improved. Like, having it in the top corner as, like, a primary thing out of the way is a bit clunky, in my opinion, but... Okay. Block once. I'm gonna use the dagger to poison. And then sword. Okay, and turn. Okay, so there's a curse. I can skip the curse. Take two damage. Or I can take the curse. Right? And it just means I have to add it to my backpack. I think I'll just take the two damage. It's not that much. Okay. I do love the music in this already. Okay, block, stabby, I'm gonna eat for two more energy, sword, sword, done. Okay, so now we got another four spaces, so I'm gonna expand this way, and get one this way. Oh, I got one more space, uh, 
Yeah, let's do that. So that shape. Why is the video quality only 360p? Is it? Shouldn't be. Does it, is anyone else getting this? Or is this like a one person thing? The stream only streams at like 1080p. Let me know. Adjacent armor gets plus one block. Okay, a ring. Adds five HP when removed. Removes five max HP. So... What about this? Unuse adds four block. Twitch just hated you. Okay, that's fine. I'll take a small key. I might get a couple of these. This isn't armor. It's a shield, but when we do get armor, I think having these two... So hang on. If this is not in the top... If this is not in the top row, the item gets two blocks. So hang on. I think this is okay. Can't take more items. I don't think I want more HP. Okay. Want to see what I have today. Deals one damage to all enemies for each connected mana stone. Okay, so I do have a mana stone. So this is not bad. It costs 35, so I don't have that money. I wonder if I can sell. This would be this would be sick, but I don't have it. Uh what is this? Helmets to the right are disabled. Cleavers below get plus 50% damage. Okay. I think we're okay. Add one energy. Alright, we're okay. Let's go over here. So yeah, I got some block from these items, which is decent. So now we have nine block. Stab. I don't know if this run's gonna go well. Okay, I'll take the curse this time. And now I can use one energy to get rid of the curse. Restart. So I think this has definitely got like a pretty unique... I'm gonna double block and just do stab. Pretty unique combat system. Uh, gonna reorganize and put it in here. Okay, finish reorganizing. Okay, take that. So it's gonna do nine damage, so I should probably just block. There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna keep blocking and then just stab. So two blocks and then a stab. And just slowly... Oops, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't do that. Ooh, just enough. Because I can't afford to take more damage. Two blocks, stab. There we go, nice. Heals H... 8 HP. Uh, I can, can I just use this? I'll put it here for now. Hatchet can be used one time each turn. So... I mean, I can't do it yet, but if I would have had a top where I could go, like, double hatchet. But what I could do... Ooh. For each space above this, this item gets plus one block, right? Okay, so... Let me just look at this. This gets here. Footwear. 
And so... You see how the synergy happened here? It's like, because of these giving you plus one armor to the adjacent armor, now this gets uh, an extra two. So it's adding four block per turn, which is pretty decent. And yeah, I think that I can take one more item, but like, I think I'm okay. I think I'm, I'm good with this dagger. This is a pretty decent dagger. I don't think I want to swap out to anything else. What about this? Deals three damage to all enemies. I like, all right, I might go that. It doesn't cost any energy, so that's pretty good. So I can do three damage to all enemies each turn. Yeah, I like that. And then this is our primary weapon. All right. <laughs> I can already see this being super addictive. Oh no, I don't have the space. Uh, a luck ring, hang on. Can I... Adds luck. I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be like a mana caster, so let's see. Are these any different? Yeah, they're not different. Um, add seven block, add seven block. This would have been nice, but we just don't have the space, so. Rip. Okay. You inhaled two cans of ravioli. You didn't realize how full you got in the process. You have regrets. Ha! Ah, it's fine. Just lie there for a while. It will pass. Okay, I'm gonna consume this. Alright, so the free cleave. Very nice. Block, block, and stab. Okay, uh, so we have room for the curse. Finish reorganizing. Okay, take the curse, free cleave, block, block. This is gonna be a tough battle, alright. Block, block, cleave, stab. Okay, uh, take that. This music reminds me so much of Chrono Trigger. Okay, block, block. Ooh, it's getting sketchy, okay. Cleave, block, block, stab. Okay, it's gonna end on this turn. Uh, adds rage. Adds eight block. This is a different shape shield, though. It's like a taller one. How does this work? Oh. This has more block. But it should do the same thing. Like, I can do this now. And now... Can be used one time each turn. What about this? Can be used one time each turn. It's free. So why not? A shiv I think sounds good. When a weapon kills an enemy, add six rage to self. Each turn hurts. Deals one damage to self. No thank you. Uh, I'll take the food. Wait, what's this? Deals ten damage to all enemies. Ooh, because this isn't a heal, it just gives you energy. Like, I think this one's probably more useful. Okay. Like, I, I can just do that. Yeah, just, okay, block. Block. Stab. 
This battle's gonna be over easily. Okay, take that. Okay, I only need to do it once, so we can do double stab. And oh, now we're good. <laughs> Ran away. Okay, so now we have a level up. Uh, I can choose three spaces. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go... One here to make it four high. And then... Maybe do this as well. So we have two that are four high. Um, I might just do this. Adjacent and diagonal armor gets plus one block. And how much does this block? Seven. But see... Yeah. Adjacent and diagonal armor. So now I can do this. Okay, hang on. Adjacent and diagonal armor. You can see what it's affecting. Oh, if this item's not in the top row, I see. No, 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 no. I need to go like this. See, I'm doing this wrong. Okay, hang on. This should be here. Wait, can I really do this? No, but this is on use. For each space above, so this would give me two block. Hang on. Plus one, plus so this is four. This is three. So this is still good if I do it like this. Okay, so adjacent weapons get plus one poison. So I'm gonna do this, right? So now this adds three poison and the shiv. Or I can do this. Is Does this mean... Ooh, that's spicy. Cleave is gonna do one damage to everything. Poison. So now, this is a good synergy here. So, I guess I'm doing a poison build. I can choose one more item. Um, creates a drink in this row, heavy. Adds 25 block, that's probably decent. I'll get that. Okay. I already think this is this is a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. Um, heals ten on use. Item is destroyed. It gets replaced with an empty cup. So it'll still take an inventory slot. I think take it. A bow. Fires the first arrow in each row. Okay, we don't have arrows. Can be used one time. Oh, what? I can do it like that as well? Yeah, that's kind of sick. And then do that. Hang on. I keep forgetting you can kind of rotate stuff. Now, but see, this is the optimal position for this. I'm gonna see if there's a scenario where I can get another one of these in. I think there is. Like, if I do this and then this, there we go. Can items be used outside of combat? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like I can just consume. Like, I tried double-clicking, right-clicking. It doesn't work. Um, I think maybe it's more valuable to heal than it is to just get that. So there we go. 
Okay, this is what I'm gonna do instead. Look at this. Because that's already got poison. So now... These two will just deal two poison to everything for free, which is kinda sick. Like, that's a pretty good... That's a pretty good synergy there. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh... Okay. Take that. Alright, block. I mean, I can just... Oh, I guess double block. Uh, okay. Oh no, it goes through armor, okay. I can't ditch this, which is kind of unfortunate, but... I think it's still worth it. I'll ditch the cup next time. Okay. Man. Okay, so now we can throw away the cup. Alright, cool. Uh, add six mana to the connected mana network. Not. On use, adds four block. Not. What else have we got? On use, this item is destroyed. I think this is a cooking thing. I know there's cooking in this game. Okay, cool. This is a left gauntlet. Adds... For each space to the right, it adds one block. Perfect. We have so many spaces. So this is really good. Very good pickup. Um, cleansing bomb removes all of status effects. Alright, I'm happy with that. I don't think I need to pick two items. I think we're good. Come here, let me heal you. Yes! Thank you. Uh, removal cut. No, we want to heal completely. Awesome. That's great. Okay. Uh, let's go here. Oh, pathway blocked. Alright, here. Okay, so I'm up to 13 armor, not bad. Alright, so... Cleave, cleave, stab, that, block, block. This is a really good build. I get to block twice each time. Easy. It only has three uses, no thank you. Each adjacent block gets one. Um, I could get three block if I was to put it here. I don't know what luck would do. I'm keeping the key. Yeah, I think we're okay. None of this is... is great. I need a key. I have a key. Unlock the door. Okay, this is what I held on to. Ooh. Okay. Deal 16 damage. But it costs 2 energy. I think if I get rid of one helmet... Hang on, let me see what I have. Is this a two or a three? It's a two. Alright. Yeah, I think this is good. I'll give up one... I'll give up a little bit of armor to get more damage. I think what I might do... 
Hold on. Maybe this instead? Well, maybe the- I guess the cleave- the AoE cleave is still good. Um, alright, I'll just do this for now. I think what I'm gonna endeavor to do is put this one here next- on the next level up. But yeah, otherwise- Oh wait, this should be like this. Yes. Okay. Alright. Oh, that cleave is so good. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Deals 4 damage, adds burn to enemy. It's a legendary as well. Oh. What does burn do? Helmets to the right are disabled, adds 4 spikes to self. I could do this. No, but it says helmet to the right disabled, so there has to be a gap. Hmm. Oh, hang on. I could... No, but it has to be in the top row. Let me just see how this would work. I don't think it will. How big is this? Oh, no, this one's really awkward. I would have to give up, too. The music sounds very familiar. I think it's got a lot of vibes to other RPG games. Like, I, particularly the snare, like, that's just... That's Chrono Trigger to me. This would have been cool, but I think I just have to give up too much to do it. It's just an awkward shape. Okay. Like that. <laughs> that right there, that is just Chrono Trigger. Rocket. Nah. Fish. Uh, adds full region to self. Nothing really interesting. I don't really have the space, so... Okay. An explorer. You discover a rabbit in a witch's hat. It's a bit too big for her. Pushing her ears back. I've been learning all about magic. It's really amazing, even though the frogs tell me. Buy a wand, no thanks. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a magic user. I only have to defend eight, so I can just go on the offensive here. You also said in this tune is a direct copy or something. It's trust me, Chrono Trigger battle music. Look up the Chrono Trigger battle music. <laughs> it sounds very, very similar. Uh, yeah. I mean, no, this is really interesting. Onwards. Alright, we're up to the finale. So look at all that health. Oh, 
Oh, minions. Ooh, I'm starting to lose health. So I can go on more on the defensive here. I think poison's gonna carry me. Now I'm just gonna use the other blade and just do two blocks each time. Ow! I kinda have to... I've been going really aggressive on this one. Jeez. Cleave. Cleave. Stab. Would it have been better to get rid of the weaker two? I don't know. We'll see. It depends if they run or not. Yeah, they ran. <laughs> the answer is no. I chose correctly. Once the boss is dead, they just leave. Okay, uh, three spaces. Yeah, I mean, I think I want this. Cowards, I know, right? I might just do this. Okay. All weapons get this effect applied. Weapons get plus five damage, holy crap. Unused, this item is anchored for two combats. Uh. Quite a what is this? All weapons get this effect applied. On use, this item gets permanent. Wait, what? I don't understand this. On use, this item gets permanent negative one damage. This item. But then all weapons get 200% damage. Like, why wouldn't I want that? I can't see a downside to that. Okay, look, so check, check this out. Check this out. Oh, I see. So it's not quite double. It's double whatever the value minus one is. This one's cool. So this one moves forward one space, right? Adjacent weapons get plus five damage this turn, but like, if I put it here, it's not gonna move. So... This is doing six cleave now. Wait, right, plus five damage. How does this work? Hang on. All adjacent weapons get plus five. I think it, it happens on turn. Let me remove it. Yeah, it should work. I mean,. I wasn't gonna get anything else. But I think this works the way I think it's gonna work. Yeah, what's this? Oh, I don't have a key. Let's go up the stairwell. Oh, pathway blocked, I see. Okay, it's fine. It's still a net positive.
Yeah, so look at this. Adjacent weapons get plus five damage this turn, so is this gonna take it into the calculation? It didn't look like it did. This is gonna deal 24 damage. All right, so I need to block, block, stab. Okay. Apparently this is not doing anything to me this turn. Alright, it's dead. Deals one damage to all enemies. It's mana stone. Golden shift can be used one time each turn. Kill on kill creates two gold. So if I if I get a kill with this, it gives me gold, which it doesn't cost anything, so it's, it's not it's not bad. It's a finishing item, more or less. I think I'm alright. Like, this, this build is pretty good so far. I don't want to mess with it. What is this? I want to see what I have today. Uh, I don't have much gold, I don't think. It's a legendary axe, but I just don't have the money. Okay. deal any damage so now we can just go aggressive just stab it and the uh, I'm kind of low on health add six poison to all enemies create something really good or horrible Another shiv. Uh, yeah, nah. Oh, ho, 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 what is this? Take a rare item for a curse. Oh, uh, no. I'm good. I don't want to mess with it. I'm doing all right. Um, adds energy. No, no. Yeah, no, we're okay. I'm not sure I'm gonna survive this. But we'll see. Block. Block. It adds poison, that's the unfortunate thing, is I can't block it. The poison is messing me up. Conduit. Structures become conductive. I may have to take this just for safety. Like, I might have to leave the locking ring behind and just have, like, this free 10 damage thing. These bats are so messed up. Okay. Let's just... I'm gonna use it right away. Cleave. Why isn't this working? Ooh, this is bad. Okay, that's 22 damage. It's covered.
14 damage. One block, cleave, cleave, that, uh, stab. If I get poisoned, I'm screwed. <laughs> There's no coming back from the poison. I don't need a block, right? Like, I think this is it. That's it. Yeah. Come on, give me a heal. Deal six damage. Remove status effect. Remove status effect. Mm. What if I do this? Oh, it doesn't... Hang on. Ah. It messes that up. Okay, I can't do that. I guess I may as well take that. Removes 100% of the status effects on enemies. I guess if they're buffing themselves, it might be useful to have. I made it to the exit, though. But I think this run is, is cooked. <laughs> Like, we're almost done here. But that's okay, like, this is just to get an idea of the game anyway. I'm not gonna go too far into it. But I'm- I'm enjoying this so far. Okay. I have to block twice here. What is this? Spike will deal two damage if attacked. So these aren't dealing any damage because of the... Twelve times hourglass? Why is it twelve times hourglass? Six times hourglass. Negative six. Something's wrong here. Oh, this is bad. It just keeps getting... Ah... Uh... So, my weapons are just getting weaker? But I guess they're dealing poison damage. It, this is weird. It, it still deals six damage somehow. I don't- I don't understand this. The base is eight, then it does negative six. But then multiply as 300, base 100, hourglass 200, add poison. These are doing nothing, but I guess it's fine because it's just adding poison. Which I guess is kind of the way to go for this, is like... Just tank up, and then just keep doing this. I don't think there's anything this this character can do. It's just like I'm gonna win the war of attrition here. <laughs> like I really look at this. It's just it can't damage me. Oh wait, it just it just did damage me. How did it damage me? Cause I just tanked up, right? And then it's like, oh no. The this makes no sense. It does zero, but then it adds poison. I'm gonna die. Organize, reorganize now to claim this item. I, I don't understand how this thorn combat works. I'm down. Because I wasn't technically damaging him, but I guess... whatever. Um... yeah, alright. So, that was, uh, Backpack Hero. We'll move on. I would want to play- keep playing this.
it's in early access, so yeah, it was a cool one, I think. All right, let me put this screen up and we'll launch the next one. I think that's definitely one to keep an eye on. It'll it'll be a while before it releases. Okay, let me launch the next one. Some of these are going to be varying in style, so... Give it a sec. So this next one's called Plan B Terraform. So this is another one that's using... Oh, maybe it's okay. Uh, let's see. Game capture we want. Give me a sec. Sorry, chat. Any full screen application, and then hopefully it'll pick up on it. Okay, cool. Let me know if the screen locks up or anything, like with Backpack Hero, but I'm keeping an eye on it myself. Okay. New planet. <laughs> um. Go. Tried and true name. You have been mandated to manage the resources of a newly discovered planet. You must bring supplies to the cities and manage terraforming projects. Good luck. Okay. So this is more of a city builder thing. So let's see. Industry. An extractor will extract minerals. First of all, try move around this brand new world. Alright, right mouse button, okay. Alright. Yeah, the style seems cool. Zoom out with mouse wheel. Okay. Select iron with left mouse button. One iron. Iron with left mouse button. Okay, hold up. Iron with... You can use the locate. Ah, there we go. Aha! Okay, got it. Alright. Yep. Build one extractor and place it over iron. So there's the extractor. Place it over the iron. Okay. Build one depot and place it next to the extractor. Depot. I mean, I guess it's gonna... Okay, uh, it's gonna do iron. Okay. The iron must be melted into steel bars in a factory. Build one factory and place it on the ground next to the depot. Okay. Steel bar. Build one deeper and place it next to the factory, then select steel bar. <laughs> okay. There. Steel bar. Okay. Build an assembly plant and place it next to the depot. I get it. So then this will go like here. And it'll build new extractors. Okay. You can find more help. Okay. Open the help screen up here. Your global objectives are to raise your population to one million and terraform the planet to make it habitable. Okay, you can move. WASD. Collect minerals from the ground, store them in a container. Put them into depot, and then factories transform resources. Assembly plants create final products. 
Alright. Count to show us how many you made. Use this button to delete buildings. You can use the duplicate model, a middle mouse button to copy a building. Okay. Total populations up the top, so we have nine. Temperature. Okay, objectives. The clickable world map. Okay, uh. Place roads and two stops. Select one after choosing. Okay. I mean, this is probably just gonna be like learn by doing. Build a supply center, contact with a city. Okay. This seems really in depth. I think the tutorial is like pretty light. Anyway, you are now able to create various structures. You can follow the level objective. Click on the progress bar at the top of the screen. Oh, this thing? Okay. Build 10 extractors and place them on the ground. All right, cool. I think that's how we're going to do this. So let's just... Yeah, interesting. Okay. But, like, this has to go to one of these, right? Okay. Ooh, see, this requires thought. But does this... I guess does this flow into that? That's the question. It seems like it does. Alright, let's just assume it does for now. It looks like it flows in. Maybe it doesn't. Like, I'm just gonna assume it's like one massive conveyor belt and it does work. Oh no, it does. Yeah, it does work. Alright, cool. It's a conveyor belt, so that's cool. So that means I can... These are covered. Put another one here. Okay, I'm, I'm with it, I'm with it. This seems pretty neat so far. Oh, wait, it doesn't let me, why not? It needs steel bar. I think it just, I think it just needs time. Or maybe I need another one of these. Uh, what is this? Factory, put it here. Yeah, so now we have two factories. Which will then go to this, and I think I need another one of these. Okay. I get it. <laughs> now, we can do this. It's just like a, a flowing thing. Do this. And I'm just going to repeat the same thing over here, so like... I gotta wait for the resources, but I'm going to do... An assembly plant here. I guess I should probably duplicate this, no? Because there's only one, there's only one of these. Let's just see if it catches up. I mean, otherwise it's telling me to build another factory, which, I mean, I can. I can just... Take this and... Put it here. So I'm at seven extractors. A 
doesn't seem to be increasing my resources. Uh, there's fast forward, so let's just... Okay, what is missing here? It costs steel bars. So this is making steel bars. Oh, this is making steel bars. Costs three iron. But then... Depot, depot, depot. It doesn't have any iron stored. Why not? Why isn't this working? It has zero stored, zero stored, zero stored. <laughs> what? Oh, it says full. Now it's full. The factory is full. This one has bars. Steel bar three. Maybe I've like hit a limit. Okay, look. Well, let's just. Okay, I've done the ten. Build five factories and place them on the ground. Okay. This is the part I don't understand is like... So these are clearly connected, why isn't it storing it? Mineral quantity, annual production, maybe I just need to fast forward it quite a bit. Steel bar three, mechanical parts. Okay, hang on. Oh, you know what, maybe that's it. Okay, hang on. Erase. Factory. Mechanical parts. I think that's the problem. I think I had too many... Too many steel bars. Potentially. Let's see if that fixes anything. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong again. Hold on. Eraser. The mechanical parts. Now is this going to work? This doesn't seem to be very clear to me. Let me see. Collect minerals and store them in a container. Then... Depot store, yep, to adjacent hexagons. Factories transform them into other containers. Okay, hang on. There's something that I've misunderstood clearly. Okay, hang on. 
I think I'm just gonna, like, clean slate it. Okay. Let's get this understanding correctly. It's good that it lets you do this, by the way. So... It says this needs to go to a depot. Becomes iron. Then that goes to a factory. Which makes steel. We'll make another factory that makes mechanical parts. Then that should go to another depot, right? Which is going to hold mechanical parts. And this is going to go to another depot, which holds steel bars. Right? If I've done it correctly, so let's just see. Just following the basic chart, right? Depot. Factory. Depot. Then assembly plant. Then another depot. Industry. Extract minerals from the ground. Alright, let's see if this works. I think this is a cool game, but I, th I think the tutorial needs to be improved just a little bit, but we'll see. I just want to see this work. It seems like it's doing something. It's trying to make it work, that's all. Hmm. Well, I mean, let me just go with what I think is correct. Oh crap. No. Why did it replace it? Hang on. That's what I was trying to do. So this has one stored, one stored, one stored. Mechanical parts, one. Zero stored. Oh no, but see, this is wrong. Ugh, man. This should be mechanical parts. I think... Depot should just store... Should just store regardless, and you don't have to pick like the resource type. I don't know. That just seems like an unnecessary extra step. Okay, let me just confirm this is correct. Steel bar, steel bar, steel bar, mechanical parts, mechanical parts. Well, this is doing extractor, so that's like. A final product.
Isn't that super low for me? No, not at all. It's only 11. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna give this game a fair chance. Let me... Let me just reload it. But I feel like this tutorial wasn't clear, so let me just do this again. But hello, Liquison, how's it going? Oh, no, okay. Alright, it doesn't let me do it. Uh, let me quit. I'll just... it's fine. I, I really want to make an effort to understand it before being like, nah, this, this game's not for me, so... But, I mean, so far, I think there's a couple things that could be made a bit tighter. Which one is it? This is Plan B Terraform. Like, the premise of it is you get placed on a planet and you have to terraform it. Okay, so let's just do this again. Move with mouse button. I think it needs more of a tutorial. I know people hate tutorials, but like... I feel like the mechanics of it needs to be explained better. Okay, target. Okay, we got iron. Build an extractor over the iron. Okay. Build a depot and place it next to the extractor. Why do they hate tutorials? They're super useful. A good tutorial is useful. Sometimes people just dump a bunch of text on the screen and it's usually not helpful. But like, I, I find that... I've heard a lot of game developers say they hate making tutorials. Build one factory and place it next to the depot. Okay, so let's just put it here. The depot must store steel. Okay. I did. Build one depot and place it next to the factory. So it's like... And then select steel bar. Right, so it's extractor, depot, ore, factory, depot, bar. Okay. Then an assembly plant. Okay. Oh, wait. Ugh, damn it. Wrong thing. Assembly plant. Here. Okay. And then get it to build extractors. So now it says open the help screen, and this is where I, this is the part where I feel like the tutorial falls apart. It's like they could have continued it, but then they're like, nah, just read all this. <laughs> Which that's the part where I got lost. I think this needs work. Okay, build 10 extractors. So before I do that, I want to see what's going on here. So let's see. Minerals view, water view. Is there an inventory view at all? No. Okay, so this, I want to see that, I want to see this go up to one before I do anything. Because there's no indicator that this is working. Like, that's the part that was bothering me. It doesn't have any bars stored. This is the part that's confusing me, is like... This is connected exactly how they said, but it's not storing anything. Why? So I, I haven't done anything beyond the tutorial and it's still, it just seems unclear.
Alright, let me build another factory. Let's see what happens. Oh, not factory. Let me build another... Alright. Let's see. I think I might give up on this one. It's just... I thought this was a cool concept when I looked at it on the next verse. Like, oh wow, like, you kind of start at nothing and then you build machines and you terraform the planet, but... I don't know, am I, am I an idiot or is this just not clear? Like, I've set it up the way they wanted, the basic setup. And this is not doing anything at all. I mean, it says available buildings. Like, if I continue it... Let me just continue it. Okay, so now we're at zero. I want to see if this actually goes back up to one. What's that jumping thing? Jumping thing? Where? Oh, the thing that it, it looks... I mean, to me, it looks like it's passing thing along the conveyor belt. Like, it passes the ore. It looks like it's functional. Like, if you zoom into it, right? It's passing ore to here. Then it goes into here, then it goes here, then it goes there. Like, it, it does look like it's working. But these indicators say they're not storing anything. I think it is working, because this is making an extractor. And now I have one. I think it's just... This UI is not clear. But... If we follow it... So hang on. So if I do... Let me try this now. Iron. Let me try this process. Then it's a factory. It's gonna make a steel bar. Then it's gonna go into one of these. Which is gonna hold steel bars. Then it's gonna go to an assembly plant. Which this one's gonna make depots. Where do you see your current resource? That's the thing that I can't work out. Like, there's no... There's no view. Like, this is... It says minerals view, but then... Yeah. I think this is a cool idea, but I think... This could use a bit of work from a UX point of view, like... It wasn't clear if stuff was working or not. Which is kind of a shame, like, I thought this looked visually neat, but... I got other games to get to, so I might give this one a pass. I mean, it's fine. I think the concept is cool, but... I just... I don't know. I, I couldn't get it. I think the storage thing confused me, and then when... There's no, like, view, at least to my knowledge, that shows what resources you have to show that stuff is working. Um, let me check help if there's controls. Uh, options... Controls, let's see.
Yeah, there's no... There's no inventory system. And here's another problem I've just found. Um, how do I get to where all my, my stuff is on this map? Can anyone tell where I've built stuff? There. Okay, there. It's like... Yeah, I don't, I don't want to be, like, overtly negative on this. Okay. But I think I'm going to leave it. <sighs> I, think it's, I think it's a nice concept, but I think it needs a bit of work, in my opinion, from a UX perspective. It is an early access, so... Oh, apparently the planned release date for this game is the 15th. Okay. Yeah, I mean, maybe I just didn't understand it, but... Alright, let's move on. I really did try. Okay. The next game I'm gonna check out is called Colored Effects. So, just give it a sec. Um... Hopefully it picks it up. Okay. Oh, I wonder if this has controller support. Hold up. Where's my controller? Probably does. Yep, cool. Excellent. All right. Okay, uh, interacts. Hold Y and move to push. Hang on, hold Y and move left or right to push the box and pull it back. Seems simple enough so far. What's ability? There's no ability yet. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> the music. Oh, what? What do I do? Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Let's just avoid. Very tiny graphics. The combat roll. I think this is just interact, alright? Okay. And then you can catch blue with the level potentially. There. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and then they take each other out. Okay. Press- oh, there- wait, press X to dash? Oh, there's double jump. Oh, what? Oh, so when I turn a particular color, I have a different power. So when I'm yellow, I gain dash. And then when I'm blue, I have double jump. Okay. 
So I have to pick which power, like, makes sense for the job. Okay. This seemed very basic, but now it just got very interesting. Okay. I am intrigued now. Now we have... Okay, I can- I can dig this. Oh, there's a cooldown. Ha! <laughs> Oops. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna spam it. But I mean, it's pretty forgiving. At least, for the time being. Quite reach it. Okay. But we have the box we can use. Okay. Yep, that seems straightforward. I mean, this is a neat little concept. Um... Interesting. Okay, but how is this gonna work now? As, as soon as I get over that, it's gonna give me the other power, which I don't want. Okay. Hmm. I mean, maybe the answer is I just have to go quick. Like, that has to be the... Oh, no. I, I see. I'm an idiot. I see what I've done wrong. <laughs> I get it. Wait, is, is it gonna work? No, it's not gonna work, because what I was gonna do is I was gonna push this down. Like this. But it's still the same problem. I don't think I can grab- oh, maybe I can grab it now, hang on. No, it, do it does work, it does work. There we go, okay, it's fine. It does work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty neat so far. And then... Prow! I mean, there's gonna be a red pal. What's the red pal gonna be? We have lasers now. Oh. Wait, but if I push it down there, that's bad. 
Uh-oh. Because I can't pull it. I think I messed it up. <laughs> There's a quick reset, thankfully. I sprint onto it. Sprint onto what? The block? <laughs> ah. I don't know what I was expecting there. Well, I mean... It just... Yeah, you can't push it. Did you just stop instantly when you sprint into it? I mean, <laughs> it would have been nice if it shoved up. Oh my god. <laughs> there's, there's no way to there's no way to fix it. <laughs> like if you mess up, it's just like, well, better reset. Um... No, you can't just dash through the laser. Hmm... Okay, let's just ignore... Because I think... I'm overlooking an obvious... Oh, dick! Okay, one complaint I have this about this already that's gotten me a few times. I think the block should follow you when you're pulling it. Like, if you pull it, just let it follow you. Okay, there we go. And then... Uh, maybe... I mean, maybe... No, but I need a double jump for this. Hmm... Yeah, that's not gonna work. But if I have dash, I think I can force my way through it. Let me try. It's like, it's a bit of a maneuver, but... Ah, oh, damn it. I have to practice it. <laughs> I'm gonna... I have to bring the block with me. But I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna try. Okay, here we go. Wait, no, come on, that should have worked. Just a little bit lower. I'm trying to kind of go under it. Okay. Here we go. Nah. <laughs> I think I'm overcomplicating it. Wait, with the block you can double jump? How? Doesn't look like it. Like, you have to be blue to double jump. Something like that. I could double jump out of the pit. Oh no, yeah, I did that. Yeah. Just 
how to get past this part without taking damage. I mean, I get the feeling I'm complicating this. But like, this block doesn't help. It doesn't really prevent the laser more than what the platform already does. I can't get under it. Ah, I don't think that's it. Hmm. The thing that I'm like. Oh, wait a minute. Is this gonna kill me? Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Can I control trajectory on this, or is it just... Is it a fixed distance every time? It might be a fixed distance. Yeah, it's a fixed distance. Alright, so I can't control trajectory on this. Hmm. Yeah, I was trying to get the yellow prism going this way, but it, this is too low. I thought maybe dashing like this would work, but it doesn't. <laughs> this, yeah, this requires galaxy brain thinking. Okay, let me put it on here. I want to watch this now. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. And that'll... I can dash into the block now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, this is pretty fun. Ah, and then when it comes this way. Ah, ha, ha. And now I can grab it. This is Nate. Yeah. Okay, boss time now. Jeez. Okay, what what is the go? Do I need up? I ca I don't think I can jump high enough to dash past it. No, that doesn't work. Okay, how do I how do I damage this thing? Let me see. Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> Dashing into it doesn't work either. Maybe it's just... It's pretty much just survive. I don't think there's, like, any tactic to hitting it. Maybe it needs to damage the blocks behind it. Maybe! <laughs> That's horrible dodging. I guess I have no way to make it. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was being clever. I was like, ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Loophole found. And then I got squished. No. That's anti cheese. Fine. I play enough of these kind of games that I'm used to, like, this dodging stuff. I grew up on Mega Man and stuff like that as well, so it, it helps. Oh, damn it. I got faked out by that. Yeah, I should probably hang further back. I'm too close to it. Oh my god. Ah! Oh! There's a cooldown on the, on the dash. I couldn't dash out of it. Okay. This, this is a little tricky. Because you can't be too far forward. So now we're on this side. Okay. Well, I guess I just have to survive. Like, I think this is just a self-fulfilling prophecy. This is the big one. Okay, we're okay. There we go. Alright, now what? Doesn't seem like I can bait it into shooting this. Oh wait. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Ah ha. Okay, that was straightforward. Ooh, red power, here we go. Fireball. <laughs> they even got the same sound effect. Whoops. <laughs> How about I jump? I kind of had a feeling that red would be destruction. This is a pretty neat concept. I'm enjoying this. Oh, now we have a... Okay, destructible block, so now we can... Interesting. We can't shoot downwards. Okay. I think I need to reset already. <laughs> okay. I think I need to... Wait, can I swap them? Okay, hang on. No, I don't think this is going to work the way I want it to. Let's 
So, what does this achieve exactly? Hmm. Hang on. Yeah, that, that doesn't help. So we have to do something with this. Is there a way to rotate it, maybe? This doesn't seem like it's helping. There's no downward shot. This just blocks it. Hmm... I don't... Wait. No, maybe I can still make this work the way I want it to. Hang on. Okay. Oh, crap. Wrong button. <laughs> it's all odd. I think I can make this work the way I want it to. I just need to keep dragging it back. Okay, and now... Destroy it. Okay, now pull this here. Pull this here. Let's see what this does. Ah, ha 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 ha. Okay. See, I feel so smart. So I, I shouldn't get this. <laughs> okay, and now we get this. See, it's great when a game just clicks with you and you don't feel dumb because you can't do the tutorial. This is great. Okay, now what? I, but I can't pull this any further because that's just going to seal me in. Oh, wait, can I destroy this? Yeah! Okay. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of, um... Like games you would have gotten in, in the days of Flash. This just feels like a Flash game to me, and I don't mean that as an insult, like I mean that in a very positive way. Like the golden era of Flash games. The stuff that I would like play in school and just get addicted to it. That's right, you can move the blue, I just realized that. <laughs> okay, now we get that. Shoot! What is that orb thing in the bottom though? I haven't really looked into that at all. Um. Oh. I may have messed up. Yeah, it's a button. It's a timed gate. Oh, I've, I've messed this up. <laughs> I see. I had it right and I messed it up. I was supposed to put that on there. I had it right. Ah, uh, I just didn't move it onto the platform. I just thought... Okay. Oh, crap. 
I gotta go back. But that has nothing to do with this. That can stay there. Oh wait, but it's cool. Like, there's barricades down. Okay. Pretty smart. So now this is a movable switch. Oh no, I forgot about the cooldown. Can't reach from this height. Okay. What does that do? That gives you a fan. Hmm, interesting. So wait, does this... Oh, it does! Very cool. Now I gotta turn... Oh, okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Hacks. <laughs> that was a cool stage. I'm quite enjoying this. Okay, now this one is probably going to require... I'm thinking, what does this do? So that opens that gate. Right, so is there any downside to me putting this here? Let's just try. Let's see, if I go down there, there's no way back. Yep. So if I go down here, I have no way back up. I mean, let's do this instead. What does this achieve? <laughs> the answer is nothing. It achieves nothing! Alright, good job. Did I just mess up something simple? Like, is it just... <laughs> just a simple jump across and I'm just being an idiot? Oh. Yes, I am definitely being an idiot. <laughs> I, just, I just saw the yellow. Over here. There we go. I am being an idiot. Um... Okay, that solves that. The only issue now is... Hmm. Oh, crap. Wrong button. I keep doing that. This is correct. Yeah, I see what I need to do. I keep pressing... It's a force of habit, but like... In games like this, I'm used to having dash or dodge on the trigger, so I'm pressing that <laughs> instead of the correct button. So, yeah, it's, it's my bad. Okay, so hang on. Oh 
but see, I need I need the other one. I need the other one because I shoot it, and I can't get it out of that hole. I don't think. Okay, hang on. Let me reset. Is there another way to do this? I don't think there is. I think this is like an order of operations thing. Right. But then I won't have anything to put on that platform. Okay, hang on. Maybe I don't- maybe I don't need to. No, I do, because there's no way I can shoot that without having something on this platform. And this is the only thing that has weight. Hmm. Weird. I'm just thinking if there's another way to do this. I may have missed the detail. Let's just see. I thought I had it. So, I mean... The only problem I have now is, is this, is like... Oh, wait a minute. It's not a problem, is it? I just realized it's not a problem. I think. Can I use this to get back up? No. Nah, it's too shallow still. Hmm... This is... yeah. This one's interesting. I feel like that has to be correct, it's just... What do you do to finish it? I need to shoot red down there, but also still be able to get back up. So how does one achieve that? Because this is stuck down here, and I, I can't do anything about it. Like, there's no pulling it or anything. Because in my mind, like, you take this and deflect it, but then once it's down there... Okay, let me try that approach. I think maybe this button is a fake. Let's approach it from this point. Can I use the yellow to get back? No, I can. It's just the thing is I need I need to use red. Okay, so like whoops. So this is how you do this one, right? So that's correct. But now I need to use red to take out this wall over here, but there's no way back across now. Like I can't get to the left. If I close this again, it doesn't really help me out. I need blue to get back up, so I can't get yellow without getting blue first. See what I mean? It's like... I can do one gate, but I can't- there's always one that I can't do. 
So there's there's definitely an order to this. It's just what's that order? You ever think of a loop? What do you mean? going to be like an aha moment for sure i think the thing i need to solve is like what i use to press this button firing all four but what what's that going to achieve I'll try it. I think I get what you mean. No, no, I, I think I, I think I get it. I think I get it. I think I get it. I just got it. Just as you said that. And then you get rid of it at the right time. No, but then... Wrong way. What do you mean wrong way? What, this here? Oh, right. But then... It's still the same problem. That's not what you meant. Well... This is one of these things that's like, words can't describe it again. It's like, you're gonna have to excuse it. Like, this is the sort of thing where a picture's worth a thousand words. Put him in a square. So you mean like this? You mean fire in both directions? What's that going to achieve? So then when I press the switch, the bottom left corner will fall out. Yeah, but the wall is still blocked. There's got to be a simpler way to achieve that. Like, I feel like... Yeah, I think I can just... I think I can just... Simplify this. To this. Oh, crap. <laughs> ah, I keep doing it. I keep doing it. I keep pressing trigger to dash and it's not it. Stop backsetting. No, it's fine. I mean, my brain's kind of dead at this hour. <laughs> See? But I mean, at least, hey, uh, I'm guessing people are finding this interesting enough, so that's good. Okay. Maybe I can do that, so then one of them is going to be correct. Like, be more lenient on the timing. Okay, and now... Now. Oh. No, but that just gets the bottom one. No, it's not going to work. I had them going the wrong way, yeah, it has to- No, but hang on. 
If I go this way, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go, that's split. <laughs> okay. Wow. And then this one is just that now. I mean, well done for, like, seeing it. one of those things that would have taken a while to figure out for sure. Oh crap, I need the blue one. Okay, hang on. I think the cooldown on dash needs to be just slightly less. Quite a bit of back and forth. Hooray, hooray! Okay, yeah, that was that was the last stage. So that was uh, colored effects. That was pretty neat. I think this has got a cool premise. It'll be interesting to see if the powers extend just beyond the basic three. Um, yeah, but I'm going to keep an eye out on that one. That one seemed pretty cool. Um, I wonder if it's actually out or if this is an early access thing. It says coming soon, so who knows when it's going to come out. I added it to my wish list. It seems cool. I enjoyed that one. Okay. Let me load up the next game. Okay. Just give me a sec, chat. What was it called? Uh, colored effects. I'll write it in the chat. It's like, that's how it appears in Steam. All caps. So this is Dad by the Sword. This one looks quirky and interesting, so you know how I'm like with this sort of thing. <laughs> I mean, if the loading screen is any indicator. Okay. Just a sec. Uh, FPS limit 60. Oh, that would be why. We don't want that. We want... Yeah. I'd much rather, like... 1080p and then, you know, 144 hertz. There's no point in it being that high. Is that better? Still seems a little choppy. How does that look, chat? Is that still choppy? Let me know.
the Dad Slayer. Slightly? Okay, hang on. Uh, ultra, very low. Let's try middle. Maybe let me do restart. Like, I might require an exit to menu. Seems better. Yeah, that seems better. Okay. The gold standard of dad swords. Reliable, average, and all stats. Left mouse to extend sword. Oh, this is like Skyward Sword. Like the com- Oh, this is weird. Pick the lock, okay. Yeah, lock picked. <laughs> Good. Also, expert lock lock picking. Hold was left mouse. Hang on. Oh yeah. No, so this is. This might be better to play with controller. Because you have to pick a direction to slash in. This is Skyward Sword Combat. If you're not familiar with it, you kind of have to pick a direction. Well, so what are these things? Okay. This is going to take some getting used to. I mean, let me see if this is easier. Hold on. It might be. Give me a sec. Okay, so... Yeah, I think control is easier, believe it or not. Like, this just reminds me of Skyward Sword. The control scheme. It's like... Uh, what? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Hold right mouse button in defensive mode. And then move left to block. Oh, that's block. Okay, got it. Yeah, but like, I kind of glitched over here. And now my character can't move. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, what now? Look at that expert level blocking. Hold right mouse button. This is a parry. Hang on. To successfully parry first block. Oh, no. Okay, hang on. These instructions are not- are no good. Okay, hang on, let me... I know this is annoying. Restart. Let's see if it brings up controller. No, it's still... Okay, I guess I have to use keyboard controls. I don't think the controller support is official. I think this is just Steam being clever. <laughs> Great lock picking. I'll try my best, but it is a little clunky for me. And I struggled with Skyward Sword at the start. But let's just try it. Badly sword play.
Yeah, so this part here, it's it's supposed to be like a cutscene, I guess. Right, hold right, mouse button, and then move left. Okay. Wait, move to the right by holding D. Oh, right. Move forward by W or S. Okay. See, this is fine. Hold the right mouth button, move to the left to extend sword, then let go of the mouse button. Right before the enemy hits. Oh, okay. This parrying is not easy. Okay, you may earn deadly powers in combat. But why, why is my sword blue? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this game? Offensive parries are performed with left mouse button in true dad swing mode. These are more risky, but 15% parry. Yeah, I'm, I don't, I've never been good at parrying, particularly in this. In the practice parrying. Yeah. I mean, this this is certainly a game. Hold right mouse button and tap space to slam sword into the ground for jump. Oh, what? So it's like pogo stick sword. Tap space to kick enemies. Sparta! <laughs> Old meme. Press and hold space for a mighty power kick. I looking at shaving cream shaves off enemy armor avoid getting his eyes okay what the heck is this game properly shave the face hold shift the lather what <laughs> what is this game Okay. Is anyone following what's going on, story-wise? Ribs. Bonus HP, falling right off the bones. Excuse me, what? What are these things? Are, are they... Are they ribs? What are they? Or are they like bottles of ketchup? What, 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 what are they? Okay, this is just... It's like gherkin? What is this? Oh, crap.
Okay, so I'm already almost dead, so this is going well. Why why'd I do that? More ribs. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I was really not ready for this. Uh, I'm, I'm stuck. I, my foot won't go down. Okay, so I'm just, yeah, fighting mutant barbecue. That's the plot. Ribs. Can I take sword? <laughs> what is this game? I mean, I knew it was weird, but not this weird. Still alive? What? No, come on. I hunted it inside the wall and it's still alive. What do you mean? Okay, it's sword time. Gotcha. Victory. Yeah, let me tell you something about the sword thing. It's not working as well as it looks. <laughs> like, I'm pressing the directions to change the angle, but it, it's not doing it. Well, now it is. Anyway. Onwards. What the... Sausage... Okay. The Dadinator. Dad hard. Save point under construction. Okay. So, yeah, we can't save. There's an Atari, though. I just walk into. Oh. Be gone. It looked like that hot dog was twerking into that bear. And I hate that sentence that I just said. What? My sword goes all... 
Okay. Anyway. <laughs> the physics are great. Okay. Deadliest warrior. Killing two enemies. Killing two enemies in one attack adds crit power to the next swing. Hot dog. Replenish health. Uh, sword. Full of sacred dead energy. Swing range. F. Stamina regen. Swing speed. Lower durability. Backstab. Sacred rain of charge. How many coins do I have? Can I get both? I can get both. Okay, but like, how do I use hot dog? Isn't it shift? See? <laughs> what a ridiculous game. Where's the next? Oh, is it? Where am I going? Instruction is not clear, and then I go through this door. Oh, there we go. Okay. I ate the hot dog. Um, accessories. Okay, but I mean... No, but this is where I came from. So where... Is there a map or anything? Ah, yeah, there's a map here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Wait, ribs. Nice. Parry. Oh, yeah, floating crate. Yep. No, perfectly normal. Can't hit these hot dogs. Why can't I hit? <laughs> I'm slicing down. <laughs> why, why can't I hit them? <laughs> Floppy sword. Oh. 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 You don't want to smack something with a floppy sword, I guess. Oh my god. Okay, I see. But like... Yeah, I, I, what is... Something is like catapulting me in there. When the hell burn is 25? What the heck is... But... How do I swap weapons? <laughs> this is 100% a floppy sword. How do I swap? C? No, hang on. Uh, oh, there we go. One, two, three. Okay, got it. Okay. Ooh. 
What is this room? Oh my god! <laughs> the shed. Horrible shoes. 100% kick and charge speed. Balance. Hot dog. Tap, kick for a quick and easy jump. That sounds cool. This is a, uh, this is a fever dream of a game. Ribs. Ow. Combat is so hard. <laughs> I think I think this is enjoyable. It's just I struggle with Skyward Sword as well with the combat. This is some mobile game. Uh no, it's in early access. It's on PC. I mean I'm not judging the visuals too much. What did I die to? A trap? Oh my god. Okay. What the heck? No secrets. Okay, I'm good on health. Hot dog, get out of the way. Just look like they're twerking. I hate it. Oh, it's guy with sword combat. Oh no, my sword's broken. Uh oh. What now? What happens when your sword breaks? Are you just screwed? You can still parry or jump. Oh. Yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. Alright. I mean, the, the same's interesting. But I gotta tell you, I struggled with Skyward Sword type combat. Oh, this is just giving me flashbacks of... That one fight in Skyward Sword that just took me like 40 minutes. Oh man. Okay. Alright. That was a dad by sword. It's interesting. I think gamepad support would probably work better for me because 
I think it's it's a little clunky for me. I'm not saying it's clunky. For me, it's clunky doing like hold left click, then you got to pick a direction to slash in, and then release left click. Control is a little easier. You just hold trigger and then you flick the stick, and then it works. So it's more akin to Skyward Sword, which I can get on board with. I would check it out more, but I feel like I'm not going to get anywhere just because I'm not good at the combat. But it seems cool. All right, let me load up the next one. Plus, you know, we're just taking quick looks at these. Not intended to be full playthroughs. Okay. Launching the next one. Okay, give it a sec, chat. Hopefully it picks up on it, otherwise I'll I'll try and find the capture source. Okay, let's try capturing specific window. Okay, hold up. Okay, there we go. So this is my dream setup. Uh, I figured I'd look at it as I did unpacking recently. So this to me seemed pretty similar to unpacking. So let's take a look. Okay, move. And scroll, QE to rotate. Okay. Seems straightforward. There's a blueprint mode. Okay. Oh. I may have... I may have ruined that. Uh-oh. What have I done this UI? What is this UI? What? Okay. Oh no, this UI is, is I'm sorry. Like as a UI person, this is not great. So like, there's no hint where your mouse is going. Right, so check it out. Like I'm clicking here and it's not giving me visual feedback where I'm drawing until it's drawn. And then I click this, but then there's no... Okay, well, there's no undo either. So that's another... Okay, let me just do this. Draw a box. Okay, there's the window. I need to draw a door. Okay, and it's a drag and drop. I think it needs I think it needs a visual indicator. Like drag drop hover. Because it is it is really not apparent. Okay, and then how do I leave this mode? Tab. Okay, tab. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Right, so I mean, this is a sandbox thing, right? Like, you can just design. So, let's see. We have a TV. So, I mean, the whole point of this is just, you know, you kick back and chill and you make a room and you kind of decorate, right? Uh. 
there's a rotation. Wait, why is this? There we go. Okay, yeah. And you know, we can do... I think the room needs to be bigger. Okay, hang on. Okay, uh, erase. Keep that window, but I'm gonna... And then put the door here. Okay. Got in out of the roughness. There we go. Okay. It, it, it was a little clunky, but we're getting there. Okay. And now we can pick the color. Which is pretty neat. Go with that. Now can I fit a rug? What about this? Okay. Yeah, it needs to be big enough for the room, but we'll see we can control the color of it, so that's kind of nice. Maybe. <laughs> Just like that. I don't know. Um, okay, what's the TV again? Right, so put the TV that. Okay, and then we have... You can do some, like, wall shelves. All right. Put another lot of them. And we can give them a color, so maybe we can make it... What color is this? I think I can copy the color value, pretty sure. Let's see. We can, cool. So... Okay. Can I color the wall? That is paint? Okay. Yeah, and then you can kind of see do this. As ugly as it is. But like, you know, feature wall. Okay, flooring. I mean... I think this is all right. And then window so we can. Change the frame. Doesn't match the rug. <laughs> I can change the rug. Um, hang on. Delete, okay. What color rug should it be? I mean, the thing is, I think this floor is kind of... I mean, I guess it should be, like, something neutral. Same green as the wall. Alright. Oh, but there's no way to know that. There's no eyedropper, I don't think. So, we're just gonna have to guess. That's roughly correct. But I mean, then... You know, we can put like a coffee table, right? And then... I think I need, I need to obviously make the room a lot bigger, right? So... Um, okay, hang on. 
avoid that wall. Yep, that's gone. Okay, hit back to tab. There we go. I mean... It's kind of just like the room designer aspect of The Sims, right? But I guess more simple. It is, the UI is a little clunky. But, and then this is like, I guess I can only face one direction, like I can't invert it. Scroll to rotate 45, shift to rotate smoothly. Oh, so you can... Okay, but like, it's fine. You can't flip it, which is a bit of a shame. Ah, oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's classic art. Art! You can't pick the color on this one, it's just art. God, I, I have art. I am so artsy. Like, very, very literal art. Okay, and then... This is kind of neat. Just being able to mess around with this. I mean, I should probably just copy the color value, right? I think maybe do that. Okay. What else? Got lamps. Put one of these here. Oh, whoops. This is very... <laughs> very cold. Anyway. Um... This needs to get moved. Why is this all the way here? It also got rid of my TV again. Not sure if that's a bug. It keeps destroying my TV. Look how many times have I placed this TV on the wall? Uh, what else have we got? You can put like a little... I mean, I guess the, the only difference between the demo and the real thing is just there's more models in the real one. Kratos. I'm trying to be very quick about why it doesn't this fit. Okay, hang on. Let's see, then we, ha we have these, these walls, right? Right, so I mean, it's just one feature wall. And the rest are colored like that. <laughs> J 
the lamp is... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of in the way, isn't it? Oh, well, it's fine. Oh, you can do, like, RGB lighting. Wait, why didn't that work? Oh, there we go. Oh, because it gets placed on here. Okay, I see. No, but see, this one's on the wall. like a true streamer, you know, do these, these leaf panels. Which everyone seems to be so fond of. True streamer. Kind of tacky, I think, but it's fine. So, I mean, I think you get the idea. I figured this was worth, like, a quick look. And then, you know, speakers. I mean, I, I think if you were to dedicate a lot of time to this, you could definitely get something looking really nice. It's, it's one of these things where once you get used to the tools, I think you can definitely do something good with it. I just love... That I, uh, yeah. Have art, you know? All this makes me think of is... Animal... Sorry, Animal Crossing also, but like... Stardew, how I just wanted more floor options. <laughs> like, this is all I want, just like, normal carpet like this. Why can't we have this in Stardew? Anyway. Um... But I mean, yeah, you can just keep going with this, right? Like, hey, there's a cactus in there. Hey, there's this here. Can I place it up here? I can. But it, go it is a little clunky, I will say. Like sometimes, uh oh. There we go. It takes a while for it to kind of register it. I don't know, a wall clock. <laughs> just, just testing. What is this? Oh, like... It doesn't quite recognize the 3D space well. Like, I'm trying to place it on the window, but it doesn't quite register it. What else have we got? Apparently, a skateboard. You know, you left weights in your living room like this. You can do wallpapers. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of neat, but I keep it simple.
Now, this is the question that I wonder, is like, if you were to... Oh no, but see, it doesn't extend out. So, I mean, you're, you're pretty much restricted to drawing one room. And you can make it as big, like, this big. What is this? Oh, you can play, like, lo-fi music. Apparently, this might be pulling it from YouTube. And then you got a camera mode. There you go, chat. There's, there's my very, very fancy room. Look at that. So artistic. There's art. Literal art. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, my dream setup. I thought it would be interesting to check out since I did unpacking. It's neat. If you're definitely looking for something to just kind of kick back to and do stuff. I think it's worthwhile. Okay. Getting through these. Um, oh, wow, it's almost 1am. I did want to do Animal Crossing. All right, let's do one more demo and then we'll do some Animal Crossing for a bit. Let me pick something that might not take long. Okay. This will be the last demo we look at. Time flies. Okay, so this one is called the Settlings. Give me a sec. The Settlings. Okay, so I mean, the note here is it's an alpha version. But um, this one looks interesting. I saw it's effectively a city builder, but like kind of lemming style. So let's do the tutorial. Settlings run automatically from one direction to the other until they hit an obstacle. High walls, fire camps, and signs are considered an obstacle. Okay. Bring five settlings to the Zeppelin. Use left mouse button on the settling to change and move their direction. Right mouse button on objects to change their state. First steps. Use right mouse button on the sign to change direction. Use right mouse button on the fire camp to start the fire. Is Lemmings still a thing? I don't think there's been a new Lemmings game in a while. Which has been my favorite so far. Um, I think Colored Effects and Backpack Hero are the two that I will probably end up looking at after uh, this is all said and done, once they're all available properly. Those two are the ones that have stuck with me. Uh, but there's a few more that I have, so we'll, we'll definitely be doing more of this over the weekend. Okay. Oh, this looks nice. Right, so... You can change... Oh, I see. Wow, this is... Yeah, this is like Lemmings. And it's considered an obstacle. Okay. <laughs> I think this, this looks nice. I mean, I know there's a building. I I know that this described as a building thing, so we'll see. But I think conceptually right now, this is so far, this is just lemmings. Which I don't mind. I like the pixel art and the colors. Mm -mm. Wait, what? Hey! What? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Hold up, what? Okay. Oh yeah, so here we go. So now you can construct. You can buy simple constructions using copper coins. Simple constructions can be accessed via the bottom bar. Bring five settlings to the Zeppelin. Use left map button to place a simple construction. Finish the ladder. Build the bridge. Okay, so I think we need to deal with the bridge first. So they're going to go up the ladder. Right, deal with the bridge first, because I have nowhere to go, and then build the ladder. <laughs> it just... I love how it just leaves. It doesn't take the other ones into consideration. It's like, alright, it's full. See ya! We cut the quota, exactly. Alright, let's fast forward it. Oh, you just, yeah. Let it go. So the ones that I have left, are, I think, are a bit more sizable. Um, in what they are. So I think... Having this one as the last one should be okay. Okay, tutorial. I mean, this this looks nice, I think. Okay, so there's there's axe and there's pickaxe. Axes and pickaxe are tools needed for resource gathering. Those resources can be sold for a couple coins. Click the tool in the bottom bar. Use this tool on a settling. And use left mouse button to pick up the coins. Distribute axes and pickaxes. Oh. So. There you go. Yeah, here we go. So now. They're doing tasks. Okay, so this is where the twist is now. Now it's no longer lemmings. <laughs> the sound effects they make are kind of like worms. Yes, yeah, so I have to gather resources now before I can build. So it just let me build for free, basically. But now there's a there's a strategy aspect to this. I don't know what that building was, either, but it had a fruit icon on it. So maybe I had to get berries. Okay. What are they doing? Oh, there we go. Gold coin. Okay, now we can make the ladder. Ooh. Axe, pickaxe, all. Okay, let's just build the ladder. But I don't have enough. Ah, there we go. Forgot to collect the one from the uh, lumber yard. So they're using like a freight elevator to deliver the goods. There it is. Alright, and now they're able to get up. I think this is cool. Also, look at the reflections in the water. I just noticed it. Yeah, this, this is a neat idea. I'm going to keep an eye on this one as well. We'll see how uh, the non-tutorial thing plays out, but so far, uh, I'm into it. <laughs> I 
I did kind of abandon some of them, but you know, that's okay. There's also like a little skeleton fella over here. So it looks like there's gonna be combat involved as well. <laughs> the ship has already left. Don't climb the ladder, you're gonna die. Okay. Buildings are places where tools are provided to your settlings. Advanced materials are created and new items are crafted. Bring five settlings to the Zeppelin. Use the bottom bar to access the building menu. Available building spots will be visible on the map. Choose the destruction tool and use it with left mouse button to make space for the buildings. Use right mouse button on buildings to open or close them. Buildings are built automatically if visited by settling with a hammer. Finish building a lumberjack. Build a shop. If necessary, clear some trees or dirt blocks using the destroy tool. Sell logs, finish the ladder, destroy. You can remove almost everything from the map, excluding enemies and quest buildings. Okay. Alright, so... I guess let's allocate... The sound effects are great. And one more axe. That's it, we're out of axes. Okay, so it's uh, use it to clear the... Hang on. Oh! Wow, you can destroy almost anything. Okay, I kind of, I kind of messed up there. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. Oh no. Okay, uh, hold up. Right, but I may have messed this up. Hang on, building shop. Then how do you place it? Okay, I think I need to restart this. Hold on. Reset. Okay, I see what I need to do. It's like I messed it up. It only gave me two destructions, so. Okay, and then... Alright, so they're gonna cut that down. There is one thing that... Hang on. Oh, there we go. That's better. It wasn't completely full screen, so it was kind of trimming part of it off. Okay, but now, let's see what happens. I think this is still wrong. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like this is tr this is tricky. So it says finish building lumberjack. Build a shop. Clear trees and dirt. 
Okay, finish the level. Yeah, I think I messed up by, like, destroying that. Does that work? Like, I mean, I guess. All right, let's let's see. This is what I was aiming for. All right, let's fast forward. Let's see if they do it. The music's kind of nice. Okay, there we go. They're building it. Oh, they're building it! <laughs> okay, there we go. So that's built now. This is pretty cute. Let's see if they finish constructing this. Um, I think what I need to do is... This now. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. Yeah, I wonder what that is. It's, there's like a fruit icon on it. So maybe there's more. I think it still needs to be sped up quite a bit more. Just a little bit more. Because even this at max speed, it's, it still feels like it's taking a while to do stuff. Well, they haven't progressed in anything. Not since building this. I mean, maybe... Oh, no, see, there's a plank. There we go. Someone's got it. So I guess it's ready. Now we just need someone with the hammer to go there. Someone? Is anyone gonna get that? <laughs> I don't know what the sign means. All? Oh, I see. Who does what? Um. Okay, I see, I see, I see. That's what that sign does. It tells who to go where. Um, hammer. So whoever has the hammer, please... Well, okay. Yeah, this is interesting. But when are they going to get to building this? Do 
There's also a countdown, so I don't have much time left. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. That took a while. It wasn't exactly crystal clear what I was doing. But there we go, we got money now. Okay, now we can start making the ladder. <laughs> uh, this is cool. I think my only comment right now would be I think this speed needs to be a little bit quicker than what it currently is. Like, this to me still feels like somewhat real time. And I was kind of waiting around a couple of minutes for that, so. It wasn't 100% certain that it was going to work. But okay, it, it, it's got in there. It's just taken a while. What are they doing with that? Oh, there we go. We can sell wood planks now. Okay, I see. Oh, haha! -ha. Look at that. Alright, that's done. Well, are they going to climb now? Let's see. Or are they just perpetually working? All go that way. Like, I want them to climb now. Hmm. Is there something missing here? Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, one of them's climbing. Okay, and let's just make them drop this here. Okay, I see. Just make them drop whatever they're doing. I do find it funny that you leave some behind. They're just... Like, nah, not everyone has to make it. Sacrifices will be made. It's an interesting twist on Lemmings. I'll give it that. Okay. That was the tutorial, now let's start the demo. Hello there, Eve. Oh, if you're reading this and haven't played through the five tutorial maps, I recommend you try them out. There is indeed an objective for this scenario, but don't worry about it for now. Just try out the game, have fun building a city and optimizing the settling's movement. The one hour limitation per run is only for the demo. In the final release, you will have an unlimited amount of time to play. Put additional useful info at the bottom of the page. Check it out. Defeat the dragon. Finish the lighthouse. I mean, if you want, right? Be aware that this is a demo version of the game. Not all mechanics and functions are implemented. If you've discovered any bugs, please join Discord. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so I guess this is how a stage plays out. It looks like these stages are going to take a while to do. It seems like one stage is something that you play for a while, which um, I'm all for it. Yeah, see, this looks more hectic now.
but I guess I'm going to play at this speed. There's the dragon, that's what we have to defeat up there. There's a tower. This is kind of neat, like, uh, yeah, it's a mix of lemmings and then there's building in it, and it somewhat reminds me of worms as well. It's a cool idea. Okay, so now a fire camp, which we don't want. Cargo lift. Cargo ballon. Vegetable bed. Mana cauldron. A dummy. A building. What have we got building wise? Uh, provides an axe to visit. Things settling. Okay, hang on. Build a house. Forestry gives you a settling. A tree slapping, which can be placed on a free dirt block. Yeah, maybe... Let's make one of those here. Because then it's like a constant supply of wood. Okay, um... A tavern. A house. Provides two living spots. Can be upgraded with stone. A shop can sell goods. Uh, I think we should set up a shop right away. I'm going to put it here, and then we're going to make, um, I guess a ladder, right? Oh no, we should do an elevator, actually. Cargo, cargo lift. And it should be all. They're not... Shopping. I oh, know, but see. Did they just stop all of a sudden? Then one of them is gonna get a hammer. I do need to make a ladder. There we go. Okay, and then the sign, and then the one with the hammer. Okay. Yeah, this is interesting. Okay. Destroy, destroy. Destroy, 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 destroy. Um, a nursery gives your sapling an apple tree, which can be placed in a free... Yeah. Do we have a, s a quarry anywhere? I mean, we'll see. I think I need to make a minor shed. So we'll do that next. Gonna destroy this so we have access to more resources. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's how mining works. So I guess I gotta be careful here. 
Because eventually they're going to hit the end of the line, so I think... What I need to do here is just place a sign and be like, uh-uh. Go back. <laughs> Don't die! Okay, uh, we need a lumber mill. Max a wood plank. Do we have any space for it? Okay, hang on. I think we need to continue. Ooh. That's... Oh, no, there we go. No, it works. It works. I mean, I'm glad there's no fall damage. Like, they kind of just do their thing. Dummy. Vegetable bed. Yeah, the thing that I'm concerned about is that they're not exactly crafting anything. Okay, well, let me... Do that. Still no free spot up there. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what the, uh... Okay, so I can make a house. But this is something very specific. Hmm, interesting. They're kind of all just roaming around. <laughs> okay, let me make an elevator up. Uh, lumber. I get it. This countdown is the time limit for what you have to play with. They don't seem to be doing anything. I may have, like... Okay, hang on. This might be why, because I'm not giving him anything to do. Okay, there we go. But see, how do I get it to stop selling? <laughs> I don't want it to auto-sell. Because we need some of this lumber. That What they're doing is they're auto-selling. Oh, I know what to do. Haha. -ha. Stop them. Then they can't reach here and they won't auto-sell. I think that's the problem, is I'm getting them to auto-sell. There we go. So now they're not going to come back here. And now let's... I think this was my problem. I think I figured it out. So the strategy to this is like... It's lemmings. Okay. I, I, think, I'm I think I'm with it. I think I'm with it. 
Yep, they're building. They're building. All right, we got, we got it going. We got it going. We got it going. Okay, I see. So I need, if I don't want to sell, like, this is a blockade. And I can turn it on and off. Okay, now I see. Now we're going to make one of these. Okay, and now we give this one a hammer. Ha ha! Okay, now, now I've got this. Now this is working. Okay. <laughs> it took a while, but I get it. So now, oh, why, why'd you go back? Yeah, we don't want them to sell. Not yet. They're not climbing the ladder. Why aren't you climbing the ladder? Climb the ladder. Climb the ladder. Okay, I have to give you one. There we go. I'm not sure how to force them to climb the ladder. And then if we want to block access, I'll just put this fire here. Pretty simple. And I'll do the same here. Yeah, nice. Okay, uh, did I make one of these? I don't think I did. Hang on. Okay, so now we got these. The only problem is they're not climbing. I might have to make an elevator. They don't go that high. I think that's the problem, is I they can't carry it up. I need to make an elevator. Okay, I need to solve this problem. Um, I would say, like, let's destroy... Let's destroy this. And then let's make an elevator. And we're gonna move stone up here. Oh... Look at that. This is pretty neat. Okay, so we need someone to go up here now. I don't know why these ones are stuck. That's the one thing I haven't figured out is like why... ...these ones don't just go up there. Uh, oh, and you can lock it to not do that. Okay, there we go. 
Ah, right click to lock a building to prevent it. Okay. Very cool. I'm getting the hang of this. Another elevator. And again, we're gonna make it stone. How do I remove a tool from one on? Wait. Seven out of ten. What happened? Did some of them die? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, crap. I met, I've, I've ruined this. Idiot. They can't climb that, but they can climb this now. Okay, okay. And now this one will climb up. So the only thing that I can't figure out is like how to unallocate an item from it. But I mean, other than that, this should work. Like they should carry that over here, hopefully. Okay, uh, yep. <laughs> this this system right here. This is kind of funny. Okay, but now we can give... I guess that's how they we changed their job. And I'm leaving this one on a permanent loop up here. This one's gonna stay up there. Okay. Now this one's gonna change to wood. <laughs> this is pretty charming. Okay. There it is. And now we're just gonna give you the hammer right away. Okay. So now I have the lumber yard, so now I can take the lumber, and this can change now to lumber as well. In fact, I'm gonna let you do this. Hey! Look at that. And now I need to make one of these. So this will take it down. And this will take the planks down. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's allow them in. There we go. Nice.
Okay, we're going to leave one up here. Seed. Put a seed up. We need to plant more trees up here. has wood actually make it wood <laughs> this is pretty neat I'm not I, th I don't think I'm gonna play like the full time period here but I'm getting a feel for it like yeah it's it's interesting it's like a city builder but then with lemmings mechanics so you have to make sure they're headed in the right direction. Why isn't this one... Oh, because... There we go. Okay. And now that should hopefully be loaded. Let's see. Oh, it passed the elevator. But I think maybe it might come back. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Why, why'd you take this? Oh no, it's the elevator. Okay, hang on. Uh, they removed it because they're trying to take it to this elevator. But even though I had it correct, that's a little annoying. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so don't take anything from this. This is correct now. I need one of them to go up the ladder. Okay. Oh. No, hang on. All. There we go. Yeah, admittedly, this is a little bit jank. Okay, I'm gonna enable this. Just to get some of mine back. We just need a couple of them to come up this way. Why? Why are you taking it? Oh, crap. Because you te- Why does it prioritize selling? <laughs> I need this here. Wait, do I? Hang on. Maybe it already has it. <laughs> Okay, lock this. This is definitely going to take some getting used to. 
One of you please go up here and construct the building. Are they all busy? Okay. Close it. Don't let him don't let him do it anymore. Lock this one as well. We don't want any more trees. Can you tell how bad I am at micromanagement, honestly? Oh my god, why? Well, now it just needs one. <laughs> what are they doing? I think this, this here, I, I don't understand why it hasn't worked. Like, I put stuff there. Alright, come on, lemmings, you can do it. One of them has a fruit. I just want this building constructed, and then I'm good. Mana shield, dirt block. Oh, so there's mana. I have 35 mana, okay. Okay, it's re it's finally ready. There it is. It's it's registered. I do find that a little disappointing that someone with a tool for some reason doesn't use a ladder. Like that's that is a little strange. But whatever. All right. 20 years later. There's the store. We did it. <laughs> okay. This is this is interesting. I think I'm definitely going to keep an eye on this one, but this was the settlings. I think it has potential. It isn't uh, is it is not even early access. I don't think. I think it's just an alpha that they made available. So, yeah. Okay. Well, that concludes uh, me looking at a few game demos from Nextfest. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll do a few more over the weekend for sure. So, if you're watching this later on YouTube, yeah, thanks for clicking the video and uh, sticking through it. Hope something piqued your interest and yeah all the stuff is on steam you'll be able to find it there